Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now this week's episode. The eclipse of the sun on Christmas Day and how to view it safely. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. And remember that old song? I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. Well, this Christmas Day morning, Monday, December 25th, you'll be able to sing, I saw an eclipse of the sun come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning, because this Christmas Day, Monday the 25th, in the morning, all of North America will be treated to a partial eclipse of the sun. And although it won't be a total eclipse, it will still be worth observing. Now, a total eclipse of the sun occurs whenever the new moon lines up directly between the Earth and the sun, and thus for a few brief moments completely covers the sun, which will not happen this Christmas Day morning. Instead, the moon will cover up only a part of the sun. That's why we call it a partial eclipse. And depending on where you live, you will either see more or less of the sun partially covered. In general, the farther south you live, the less of the sun will be covered. For instance, at maximum eclipse, only 15% of the face of the sun will appear covered from Los Angeles, whereas in Montreal, 61% will be covered. Now, to find out how much of the sun will be covered from where you live, check your local newspaper one or two days before Christmas, or go to our website, jackstargazer.com. Now, in all fairness, I have to tell you this. If no one told you a partial eclipse of the sun was taking place, most of you would probably not even notice because the sun doesn't really significantly dim down until more than 90% of it is covered. But what you can see if you use the proper techniques is the moon slowly taking a small chunk out of the disk of the sun. Now, under no circumstances should you observe this eclipse by looking directly at the sun for even a few seconds. And never ever look at the sun through a pair of binoculars or a small department store telescope because you could do very serious damage to your eyes before you'd feel even the slightest amount of pain. Now you can view it through special inexpensive mylar glasses which will be available all over the country. But the cheapest, easiest, and safest way to view it is by projecting the sun's image onto a piece of paper by making a simple pinhole projector. Simply take a stiff piece of white paper or cardboard, cut a small square hole in one piece of the cardboard, and tape a piece of aluminum foil over the hole. Then take a pin and poke a tiny hole in the center of the aluminum foil. Then, to view the eclipse, stand with your back to the sun and let the sun's light pass through the pinhole onto a second piece of paper or cardboard, which will be your viewing screen. And as the moon slowly passes in front of the sun, you will see a bigger and bigger bite out of the sun on your viewing screen. Once again, under no circumstances look at the sun directly with the naked eye, a small telescope, or binoculars. Use the pinhole projector technique but do not look at the sun through the pinhole. I'm Jack Horkheimer. Merry partial eclipse of the sun on Christmas morning, and keep looking up. Jack Horkheimer's Stargazer is brought to you in part by Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, tools for discovering the planets, moon, and stars right from your own backyard. Orion has been serving stargazers since 1975.